Hey, what's up guys? Today we're just going to be going over SmartMon tools. This is a great utility if you want to test out how your hard drives are doing or your SSDs. This works great inside of like a RAID array, say for instance, or if you just want to test out how the health of your root drive is so you can be prepared for if one is a uh, about to go bad. One of the prerequisites is that you have to have smart capabilities inside of that in particular drive and it's not going to be on your system by default so you do have to install it. So you're going to have to look up what the name of it is inside of your repository. Uh, mine is going to be inside of Ubuntu so I'm going to be using APT and it's just going to be APT install and SmartMon tools. Now for utilizing SmartMon tools, yeah, these are going to be the commands right here. The First one I have is to actually check if you have smart capabilities inside of your hard drive or SSD. All modern hard drives and SSDs should have uh, smart. So uh, if you have an older drive, that's whenever you might want to be concerned with that. Uh, the first one is going to be uh, smart control dash I and then your drive. Now uh, it's not going to be enabled by default, so you're going to have to enable it. And the way you're going to do that is just do uh, smart control dash S and then on and then your drive. And you can actually test your hard drive. Now, whenever you actually list out uh, all the details about your drive, it is going to say if it passed or failed, but it's not going to go into detail with how the drive's health is. It, like, it will, but it's going... If you want to do an in-depth test, you're going to want to do a long test. You can also do a short test, but it's not going to be as in detail. So uh, this is just an example of uh, the long test. You, so you're just going to do smart control dash T for test and then uh, long. And then you're going to put your drive right at the end there. Now to find out an estimate of how long this is actually going to take to take this test, you're going to do a smart control dash C and then your drive. If you want to view the results of that test that you took, you're going to just do a smart control dash L self test and then your drive. And to display everything about the drive, you're just going to do a smart control dash A and then your drive right at the end. Now for the flag, some of these we already went over. I is going to be for info. It's going to just print out the model number and everything else uh, about that in particular drive. Uh, S is going to be for enabling or disabling your smart capabilities on your device. And uh, T is going to be for test. And then your options with test are going to be short or long. Uh, the short test is only going to take a couple minutes. Uh, the long test, if you have a larger drive, like I have some 8 terabyte drives, they take around like uh, 8 to 10 hours to actually take the long test. And the dash L flag is going to give you the logs of your device, and the dash A is going to print everything about your device. All right, and these are some key indicators to tell if your drive's in a poor state. You can run those tests, and it will tell you a clear-cut answer if your drive's in a good condition or a poor condition. But these are some indicators or warning signs that a drive's getting old or in a poor state. So the first one's going to be reallocated sectors. You're going to want to keep an eye on this. This is uh, whenever a sector is in a poor state, so it has to move from one sector to another to actually be able to write the data. Uh, current pending sectors, this is uh, whenever it's waiting to write information to a new sector. Uh, this can uh, be because of an unstable sector inside of your uh, drive. Uncorrectable sector count. Now this is whenever it's trying to remap a sector, which is moving it from one sector to another, but it isn't able to write it. Uh, read rate, uh, error rate, this is just how often a uh, you have an error while trying to write. Write error uh, rate, this is the same thing except it's uh, to do with writing. Reallocated event count, this is just uh, the count of sector reallocate, uh, reallocation operations. Spin retry count, this is something else to keep in mind. And uh, this has all been pulled off this website. I'm going to have a link inside of the description if you want to actually see more data on this. But these are some of the key factors that you want to keep an eye on for a drive that might be getting old and need to be replaced. So, hey, let's hop over into the terminal and let me show you some of these commands. All right, guys, now that we're inside of the terminal, we can just do a sudo apt update. Just make sure that we're all up to date here before we start installing this. So right after that, we can do a sudo apt install smart mon tools. And it's going to be already installed on this system. And right now we're going to be dealing with... Um, Dev SDA, that's going to be the drive that we're going to be testing out today. So uh, to actually get information on this drive, you're just going to do a uh, sudo smart control dash 
I and then your drive so dev SDA in my instance and this will give you all kinds of information for instance right here your model family so this is going to be a Seagate drive in my case and it's going to be a 3.5 inch drive it's going to give you a lot of information like your rotation rate it's going to be able to tell you if you have smart capabilities in my instance uh, I already have smart enabled and uh, just before I forget, I'm going to show you how to enable smart. So you're just going to do a sudo smart control dash s on dash a and then your drive. So uh, dev sda. Okay. Now mine's already enabled, but uh, that will enable smart on your drive if it does have that capability. Now to actually list out more stuff, you don't actually need the dash A, but you can actually see right here. If you just put a dash A, let me just show you. So let's do sudo smart control dash A. It's going to do the same exact thing where it just shows you information on this drive. So, um, and it's going to bring up the same thing. One thing to keep in mind, like I was talking about before, these are some indicators that you want to keep an eye on to see your drive health. So the first one that we have up here is reallocated sector count, and that's going to be right here. And you can see we have zero, so that's a good indicator right there. Spin retry count, this is something to keep an eye on right here too. And we have that as zero as well. Airflow temperature Celsius, uh, that's going to be right here. And you can also see the temperature rate down here. You want to keep this below 50 degrees. If it goes up to 60, that can be okay in uh, small, short bursts. But uh, in general, you want to keep it under 50. And the current pending sector count, that's going to be right down here. And you want to keep this, this one, you want this to be zero as well. And if you keep scrolling up here, you're going to actually see if your drive has passed. This is just a small test that it runs in general to show you that your drive is healthy. This isn't a very in-depth test, but it will tell you if it passed or not. And it will also show you, just like the dash I, this is more of the short summary. It also shows you that with a dash A flag for all. Now to see how long your drive is going to take to actually take these tests, you're just going to do a pseudo smart control dash C and then your drive so SDA and you can see right here for the short self test it's going to take around one minute for the extended test it's going to take around 484 minutes so it's tremendously longer if you're going to do the extended test but it will go more in depth and actually tell you if your drive's healthy I would recommend going with the extended uh, the extended test whenever you have the time uh, for this example, we're just going to go with the short test, but to actually test out your drive, you're just going to do a sudo smart control dash T for test, and uh, we're just going to put short right here. If you want the long test, you're just going to put long, but we're going to go short. Dev SDA, and now it's actually taking the test, and I can actually do a sudo smart control dash L self test, and then our drive. And this is actually going to show us our progress right here. This is the uh, new test that we are taking. You see I've taken this test before. But 90% just means that we have 90% remaining before the test is complete. And if we do it again, you can actually see now we're at 80%. And I'll come back once this test has been completed. All right, so the test has been completed. You can see right here, completed without error. So that's how you know that your drive is in a good state that passed the test. You can see here 0% remaining. And it also shows you your lifetime hours of the drive, which is also nice to know. Now, you can actually do something here just like CronTab where you can schedule this to run every day, every week, every month. And you can actually do this automatically. That way you don't have to manually go inside of here and do this yourself. This is beyond the scope of this video, but if you want to see me make another video where I actually go more in depth with how to make this work, I can do that. But I'll show you where it's at right now so you can actually do the reading yourself. So let's do a sudo nano etc smart d dot conf. And right down here is where you're going to be editing just like CronTab uh, to actually put your drive in the times and everything else like that that you want. And they give some nice demonstrations down through here that you can read through and actually configure this yourself. And like I said before, this is perfect for a RAID array or just if you want to check out the health of your drive and just keep up to date with how healthy your drives are. That way you can be prepared for whenever you're about to have a failure. So, well... Hey, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. 
Come back next time. Peace.